I do feel like our relationship would be greatly improved if we had a different point person in that file who was a little more pragmatic and someone who was willing to work with us, like some of the other ministers are. It's, you know, admirable that he's defending that member of his team, but I, I think that the reality is somewhat different. We've got a, an environment minister who's lost in court on the Impact Assessment Act, and rather than accept that, seems to be trying to find a workaround on it. Lost on plastics, rather than accept that, is appealing it. We went to COP, didn't tell any of the delegations there what he was going to announce there, uh, dropped a, a, a bomb on us on an emissions cap for oil and gas, emissions cap for methane, and um, has you know basically uh, announced that he doesn't want to build any more roads anymore, which he had to walk back. So I, I would say that the evidence demonstrates that there's a, an environment minister who has been given a, a pretty free reign to trample the Constitution and interfere with national unity 